The city of Sarasota is busy dealing with everything from an overdue lift station to homelessness. But along the way, we're getting a glimpse of some major dysfunction within the walls of City Hall. ABC 7's Ray Collins joins us to sort this out. Ray. Yeah, I'll try to, Haley. The city clerk versus a city commissioner and who's right depends on who you ask. This is Pam Natalini. She's been the city auditor and clerk for over five years without much public controversy. But all that changed this week when one of the commissioners chose to give Natalini her job performance review for all the world to hear. Allegations about the city auditor and clerk's um, management style. Even though the other commissioners all gave her high praise, Commissioner Susan Chapman went through a laundry list of issues. There was the issue with regard to the city manager and the um, uh, being confronted in a what what has been characterized to me as a loud and screaming telephone call from the city auditor and clerk. Chapman talked about Natalini's tension with the city manager, as well as words like retaliation, turnover, temper tantrums. And Chapman said one employee, Jan Thornburg, moved her media relations department out of the city clerk's office. The public information officer was transferred as a result of her claims, transferred to the city manager's office as a result of her claims that this kind of temperamental management style was causing her health care health issues. When Chapman finally finished, Natalini said she'd send a response to commissioners. I don't wish to, with all due re respect, play into the theatrics, how it's been presented, but obviously much of it's been sensational lies. But it, they are not sensational lies. We obviously have much bigger issues. Martin Hyde is a Sarasota taxpayer. He admits he's not familiar with Natalini's work as a clerk and auditor, but he believes this all could have been handled better. It's certainly not a good idea to wait to uh, pursue it in the public arena. That's just looking for trouble. So what's going on here? It's hard to follow. Natalini believes Chapman gave a negative review since Natalini testified against her in her current Sunshine lawsuit. Chapman says the evaluation, though, was started before the trial began, Haley. So accusations of retaliation. Right. And Ray, why did Chapman feel that she needed to do this publicly and not in private? You know, they, they had a private meeting scheduled, but Chapman canceled two hours prior. She wanted a lawyer or a stenographer present. Natalini has since filed a complaint about Chapman's review. The saga continues. Yeah. Thank you, Ray.